What is up my friends, it is your old pal Closet Gamer back again for some more Age of Engineering. We're on the roof of our house um, and you'll notice a distinct absence of windmills. That's because I've taken them apart. Yeah, sad times. They're a bit unnecessary at the moment actually because we're getting 4k RF per tick from our uh, diesel generator. Um, and these are probably giving us a little bit of lag that we don't really need. Um, I've also taken apart the water wheel as well. Um, so we'll get these all cleaned up. But uh, it kind of marks a transition really from nice clean uh, renewable energy to this dirty monstrosity that we've got down here now. Um, it's essentially running off mud or sludge or, or whatever you want to call it. Biodiesel is is the official name. But it is giving us a good amount of RF uh, and it's allowing us to run this bad boy, our vertical digger, at full tilt with no problems whatsoever. It's, it's down to bedrock. Let's see if we can go down. Actually, probably probably not a good idea. I'll drown mid-episode and it'll be very embarrassing. But anyway, the uh, the objective for today, my friends, is to uh, completely get rid of our vertical digger and to get a void miner set up. Now, to do that, uh, we're going to need lots and lots of cobblestone. Um, outrageous uh, reaction to uh, my automation setup, actually, in the comments. Um, lots of people saying, yeah, just use a compacting drawer. That's a good idea. Thank you very much for that suggestion, guys. I didn't know about that. Um, apparently, I'm the only one in the universe that thought that this uh, production line was uh, completely necessary. Um, but I haven't got um, the diamond for a diamond cutting tool for the old block cutting machine that I need to make a compacting drawer. So I can't quite make that yet. So I'll leave this for the moment. But what I am going to do is listen to uh, Michael Whittier's suggestion of a cobblestone generator. So this cobblestone generator is going to net us a whopping one cobblestone per tick. And I think we can get all the way up to tier five, uh, which is emeralds. And I've got plenty of those. I've got plenty of diamonds. I've got plenty of um, blaze rods and stuff. Because we're going to need 40 compressed cobblestone. That will get us well on our way. Because I think uh, the tier two stuff, um, the tier two structure blocks, um, I think I need more for a tier 2 version so I'm going to need to make lots of this anyway uh, so we'll get that set up definitely today, we'll definitely get one of these guys going so I need a lava bucket and a water bucket now I think um, I think I've got a couple of buckets I've got a, couple, I've got a water bucket and I've not got a normal bucket as well um, I just want one of those buckets thank you very much um, and I'll probably just steal some lava from uh, our smeltery that we don't use anymore at all it's a shame that these um, I'm hoping that these mods I'm hoping that I get to use this more because I used to enjoy using this and this thing as well. I thought this was going to be uh, this was going to be quite uh, prominent, but I've not really used that much either. Um, similar to when you're a child and you think that you know quicksand is going to be a massive problem in your life. Um, and I remember when I was little, actually, I remember really sort of threatening about quicksand and making sure that I would never come across quicksand and worrying about being near quicksand and dying in quicksand. Um, I used to live near a beach as well, and I was convinced that there was a, a patch of quicksand and that I would die in it. Um, and to be honest, it, as an adult, it's not really an issue, is it, quicksand? Um, you think it's going to be a lot worse than what it is. It's not. Anyway, um, so block glass and cobblestone. That's all we need for this. Pretty cheap recipe, really. Six of those, and that's it. Bosh, done. Cobblestone generator, I think, isn't it? Is this it? Nice cobblestone generator, and then tier two is just that with some iron. So I've got like loads of iron. Nice. So we just need some diamond as well. A few of those, and that should be enough to get us the old, uh, the next tier up as well. Um, and then what's this? Oh, stone now is it? Okay. Let's get some of that. Bung that in here. Um, I've got some plans actually about what I'm going to do about. Um, this stuff. Uh, I've actually disconnected my macerator at the moment because it's making so much noise it's unbearable. Um, it feels like I'm living next to Pauline Fowler's uh, laundrette actually. Um, there's just so much racket I can't stand it so I've disconnected it at the moment. Uh, but what I'm going to do, why is this not? Oh, hang on a minute, it's gone back somewhere. Where's it gone to? It's gone into the system. It's like, it's like Augustus Gloop it's um it's finding its way through the pipe system. Where's the stone gone? Oh shit, where's it? Stone? Where are you? 
Maybe it's gone into this chest. Are you in here? Hardened stone. Draconian dust, nice. Loads of hardened stone in there. Um, hardened stone instantly is not very hard. Where's the bloody stuff? Where's it gone? Maybe I've got some here. Have I got it listed? Stone, yeah, I have. Look, that's where it went. I didn't even need to make it, actually. What a numpty. Right, this one. Give me this. And also, have I got enough diamond for this? Yeah, I've got enough diamond for that. And then I think the next one is uh, end of, um, is blaze rods. And I've definitely got those as well. Let me grab those quick. Four of these guys. Nice. I knew setting that up was a good idea. Didn't I? This one? Not enough stone. Give me some more stone. Thank you. This one, this one, this one, this one. Nice. Now, uh, I've got a pretty good build up of emeralds as well, actually, so I might just go full whack. Nice. So that is a tier 5 cobblestone generator. Right, Michael Woodner, does that please you? Does that please you that I've done that now? Um, because you were not particularly happy about it, were you? There. Is it making it? It is making it. Look at that. Why is it not doing it, though? Why is it not doing the stuff? Ah, uh, one minute. It is doing the stuff. Why is it not turning it into anything? Does this need grid power? It doesn't need grid power, does it? Surely. It's not actually doing anything. Why is it not doing anything? The recipes aren't loaded into it now, and it's saying grid power. Is this, is this thing here, is this affecting it now? What is this doing? This stuff. There's been nothing but bad news ever since I made this stuff. Right, I'm still none the wiser, but I think the issue that I've got with my RF power is that my grid is I'm basically I'm consuming more than what I'm producing. So this is taking a little bit. This is taking like four, isn't it? It's got power drain four. Um and from this I'm producing one. It should mean that I've got nine, but I think these these are now consuming power, apparently. Um, yeah, they're now a drain on my grid. Even though they weren't consuming power before, they were just running normally. And then probably, maybe, this is now consuming power as well. I'm not sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is get a couple of lava mills set up, I think. Um, which will passively produce RF uh, or GP, which I think stands for grid power. Um, whether they're uh, all the time they're on. And they don't look too expensive, actually. It's just one gold and some stone burn. And, well, I've got some stone burn. I've got at least uh, enough to, to do me a couple, anyway. I thought I had more than this polished stone. Um, let's make one um, and see if that helps us a little bit. Uh, so I just need um, a redstone crystal and some gold ingots. So let's grab stuff that we need for that. One of those and then one of those. Uh, and see if we can make this guy. Let's go. This one. Thank you. Lava mill. Right. So I need to put this next to lava. Um, so maybe if we uh, make a nice little area here. Um, and maybe with some of this stone. Like that. Uh, and we'll have two. So the next one will go there. Okay. And then we'll put lava in here. How about that? Does that sound good? Have I got a bouquet? Bouquet? Yes, I have a lava. I'll have a bucket. Right, lava. Not enough for one bucket, no? Right, I better go and get some lava. I'll be back. Really not a good idea to teleport yourself into the, the pool of lava that you're trying to get to. <laughs> really not a good idea. We might as well stock up on lava because our uh, smeltery is running short, actually. Okay, right, bucket of lava in there. So that should start producing GP now. Nice. Grid power, 13.04 over 2. Um, so we're producing 2, but we've got a requirement of 13.04. So if I get rid of this, um, is this going to start working now? So we've now got a requirement of 9.04 over 2. So I need more than this. I need more. Um, 
Right, I'm generating 9.04 now because my um, because my solar panels are, are up and running. I'm going to make some more solar panels for this um, because I think once I get past, once I get to the point where I'm at 11, then things should start working. Maybe. Anyway. Right, so another, for another three, it's just another three lapis. So I can make. Let's make another uh, another six, and then hopefully that will put us uh, well in the green. Right. Okay. Let's go and pung these up on the roof, and see if that solves the situation. Right. Are you solved now, situation? Are you going to do this stuff for us? Are you, are you going to give us the goods? Oh, it's not complaining. It is going to give us the goods. Now let's see if it completes. It's going to take 8 GP per, per one. Nice. Stone burnt. Right, okay. So, are these... This is working now as well. Right, it's now. Right, that's really annoying because that was working before. That was working before, no problem. And this hasn't got an inventory space now to make these. Is that gonna is that gonna craft fast enough? Do you know what I'm thinking that just compacting drawers is just gonna be a damn sight simpler than mucking about with all this shit. Jesus Christ. But this is working now, look, this is going. It's making the goods. Okay, so what I've done, I've loaded up the recipes that I need for um my void miner, because that's what we're gonna do today. Um, and it's just like a bunch of uh, hardened stone, uh, electrical steel, um, some gold and some redstone. Hopefully I've still got enough gold. Um, so for this I need 48 gold. Yeah, I've got enough gold, got enough steel and I've got enough redstone. Uh, and I've definitely got enough basalt. Um, so all I really need to get is a stone burn. Now, um, for the stone burn I need to take these uh, and I need to turn that into polished stone uh, by going like this. So I'll make a whole stack of that, uh, because I need, how many do I need? I need 40. So let's make a ton more of that. Um, and then I just need another, what, 20 or triple compressed cobblestone? So I've got 20 in there now. The rest are coming through slowly but surely. So I'll wait for these, um, and then I'll be back once these are done. Okay, we are back. Uh, I've spent a little bit of time um, moving my uh, quarry about, actually. Um, I've moved it over here. Um, because we still need to get minerals and things. There's a bit of a water situation going on at the moment. It's not particularly good. Uh, it's like water flowing all over the place, which is really annoying. Uh, I don't like the sound of running water. It annoys me. Uh, also, whilst uh, whilst I was away, um, I had a bit of an incident uh, with the old lava thing. Apparently, it's not a very good idea to build a lava mill in a wooden house. Uh, I kept hearing all these little crackling noises. I was like, "What the bloody hell is that? What's the bloody hell is that noise? Why does it keep crackling?" And it turns out the uh, the roof was on fire, and I managed to stamp it out. Actually, thanks to the old um, staff of travelling, I managed to uh, get up here pretty quick and stamp it out, uh, and and stop it from burning down the entire house. Uh, but it did do quite a lot of damage, by all accounts. Um, so, word to the wise: if you live in a house that is made out of wood, uh, don't go and get buckets of lava and place them top your nice stone floor thinking that you know you're nice and safe um, and that your, your your grid power is getting generated in a safe manner well it's not because you're going to catch a house on fire like I did so just be careful yeah just be careful now good thing uh, we've got our triple compressed cobblestone it's done um, and also our stone burn should be well and truly done by now yeah we've got 64 of these guys now um, right so that means that I just need 20 black quartz nice and also 96 basalt as well. So what is 96? Is that like a stack and a half, isn't it? So basalt machine base, here we come. Nice, 20 of those guys. Um, and now for these tier one structure blocks, basalt structure block, basalt structure block, hardened stone, oh, these are the same, they're just made out of different stuff. Okay, right, basalt structure blocks. So we need 24 basalt. So let's do this again. To get 24 of those, and then the rest of it, we can just grab stacks. Alright, so give us enough gold, give us tons of redstone, and what was the other stuff that we need? Uh, tons of electric, oh, electrical steel, electrical steel, is it? And how do I make electrical steel? I can't remember. Uh, ah, aha. Uh -huh. So I need 96 of these, so I need silicon, 96 silicon. I've got loads of silicon. 
96 iron and also 96 coal dust. That's right, isn't it? For electrical steel. Yes, that is right. Okay, so let's put like a stack in each one of these. Right, whilst that's doing, um, we need to get this sorted as well, this assembler. Now I need another structure block, uh, but I need a tier 2 structure block this time. So let's grab four electrical steel, uh, two gold, uh, two redstone, and quickly make this one up. Right, so give us some of these uh, and some of these, because we're going to make this one quick. Right, let's grab that. Basalt, nine, nice, right, okay. Um, and now for the next one, it's vibrant alloys, uh, and then diamonds and redstonia crystals. So some of these, uh, we've got two diamonds. Yep. And then vibrant alloy is uh, ender pearl and energetic alloy. Energetic alloy is all of these guys. So only four gold, four redstone, and four glowstone. Right. Quite expensive, this thing, isn't it? Quite expensive for a little spanner. Right, let's take these out for the moment. Let's put um, these guys in there. Four of those in there. And four of those in there. Right, I'll wait for these to go. And then I'll be back once these are cooked. Right, loads of vibrant alloys. Let's bung these guys all back in there so they can carry on cooking whilst we're doing other things. Now, we should be able to make this now. Um, so, if we go back over to here, here we go, like this. Then this one, like this, like this. And then a couple of these guys. And that should be us done with our assembly. Nice, assembler. So that's going to help us to... Uh, We'll right click on our void miner once we've got the the main block and that should start assembling things. So let's see if we can actually make this guy now. So we need um, some blocks of gold. So I need 36 gold. So let's grab a stack of that uh, and let's break that stack in half. Let's grab 36 of those. Nice. Four blocks of gold. Um, I've got my silk touched uh, diamond and quartz that I've got those guys like that and what was the other one it was iron as well wasn't it yep nice uh, so that's got that's got that's got um, I'm going to need three of these laser cores so I need two for the actual assembly and uh, two for now um, and to make these I'm going to need clear glass I need 12 clear glass so 12 enriched sand which is 12 never quartz and 12 normal sand so I've got plenty of sand I've got, I've got tons over here actually tons of sand there and I need about 12 never quartz and where's that nine one more so combining those like that and then that like that should give me enriched sand and then if i chuck those in my smelter that should give me a uh, clear glass which is going somewhere else where's it going to that means that i must have some quite clear glass is it quite clear glass no it's normal clear glass where's that glass going to maybe it's going into the overflow chest there it is there Okay, that's where stuff ends up then. Uh, and I also need some redstone and some iron as well. Okay. So six iron. And then uh, six redstone. And that should make us three of these guys. Let's grab those back. Uh, and then go to this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Three of those, nice. Um... And then we need a clear lens as well, which is more clear glass. So we're going to need like two lenses, aren't we? Which And each one is uh, eight plus another three. So 26. So let's grab 26 of these guys. 26 clear glass. Right, so two like this. One lens. Two lenses. Two lenses in the middle, and then these guys around the outside. So my maths wrong? My maths was wrong. So that should be that. Nice. Void Miner Tier 1. Finally. So we've got the Void Miner Tier 1. We've got the 20 machine bases. What we need now is the 24 structure blocks. Now let's see how much electrical steel we've got. 22 there. 
We've got 33 and then another 11 there. So we still need another 42 of those guys. So I'll wait for these to cook up and then I'll come back. Well, I got so bored of waiting for these guys that I actually decided to make some upgrades for them um, and put some octodaic, octodic capacitors in them, um, which has made them a million times faster, actually. It's done, it's, you know, it's, look how quickly they're going now. That was like, that's a lot faster, isn't it, I think? I should have done that a long time ago because uh, these things, they take bloody ages. But anyway, we've got all the stuff that we need now, um, I think, to make these. Uh, so we've got all of our electrical steel. I think the only thing that we're missing is uh, the redstone, the gold, uh, and the basalt. So let's grab that now. Uh, let's grab the basalt. Nice. Basalt structure blocks. Right, so we've got that. We've got the laser core. All we need now is another lens. Um, actually, no, I've got a lens. I think I've got everything that I need. Let me put some stuff back and I'll be able to see what I've got. All right. 24 structure blocks. The void miner itself. The basalt machine base. Two laser cores and a lens. And I think that's it. I think that's all we need. Right, so where are we going to put this thing? Where should we put it? Well, we need to put it close to our uh, generators, don't we? Actually, let's get a sleep and then decide. So looking atop my manor, um, we can see that this little area here, we're going to expand this out a bit. Uh, there'll probably be another block of generators sort of coming along this way. Uh, that's my plan anyway. Um, so I don't really want to put it over here. Uh, what I probably want to do is maybe put it over this way. Put it over this way, maybe in amongst these trees, like here maybe. Uh, and then we'll keep this area clear for our power generator. Uh, we'll keep this area over here clear for maybe building another three of these generator arrays within a within a building maybe. Uh, so that could be pretty cool. Look at Look at our base, it looks so cool. Nice little majestic sort of float around the place isn't it right so i think uh we've decided we've decided haven't we it's going to go here okay so i think this thing needs to go um a few blocks actually it needs direct line of sight to uh, bedrock doesn't it right kids don't do that at home i've just sort of dug straight down to bedrock but i was quite confident and even if i did go in live i could have just sort of whizzed out of it anyway with my uh, staff of travel wasn't a uh, wasn't a massive risk to take was it I was quite, uh, I was quite confident. Nothing was going to ever go wrong. What could have gone wrong? What could have possibly gone wrong? Right, let me get some of this stuff. Right, and then go like this. Come on, boots. Here we go. Nice. It's got no RF in it, so we need to hook it. Oh, it's actually. Right, let me put a chest on this guy, and then we'll hook it up to the mains. Nice. Right, so, uh, one of these, uh, and then we'll have some of this. Go into here. Nice. Perfecto. Oh, it's getting stuff already. So what we'll do, I'll go and pot around the house a little bit. We'll come back to this in about 10 minutes time and see, uh, see what stuff it's come up with, shall we? Right, okay, we're back. Um, loads of stuff, turns out. Um, what is this? Coal ore, redstone ore, yeah, nickel, sphalerite, sphalerite, yeah, that's sphalerite, uh, Lonsdaleite, Lonsdale, that's like a cheap, it's like a cheap brand of train, isn't it, Lonsdale? Lonsdaleite, what's that used for? It's used for more Lonsdaleite. And what's Lonsdaleite used for? Witherproof. Ah, witherproof, only players can break it. So maybe that's used for a wither farm. Interesting. Interesting stuff. What else we got in here? Uh, cinnabar, yeah, we know about that. Ardite, that's from the nether. Gold, pyrite. So I think what happens is this thing, it's uh, it's getting stuff, that's like from the end, isn't it? Um, this thing, it will uh, it will basically just sources ores out of the ore dictionary. It doesn't really care where they're from. If there's an ore, it will get it. We've got an emerald there as well. Nice. Wow, this seems pretty good. So I'm fine. I'm glad to finally have a void miner set up because that means I don't have to go mining anymore. Um, I'll just leave this thing running at all times. Um, I'll get the uh, piping and stuff set up back to the house. Um, I might even get another one of these done um, next to it because the old uh, the tier two void miner requires uh, more tier ones anyway. 
and uh, requires even more of these um, structural blocks. In fact, let's look at the structural blocks tier two. Oh my god! For a tier two, each one is two diamonds, and how many? Let me look at this one second. Let me grab this. Come here, you. Right, how many of these do I need for a tier two? For a tier two, I need. 32 structure blocks. So that's going to cost me a whole stack of diamonds to get those. Jesus Christ. Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs, my man? Okay, well, I guess they kind of pay for themselves then, don't they? If they if it gets me 64 diamonds, then it can have a tier 2. Right? That's the deal. Excellent. Right, my friends. Well, uh, we'll wrap it up there, I think. Um, so we've got quite far. Um, I'm glad that I've spent a little bit of time in the Ender Age um, setting up the infrastructure. Um, I'm glad that I've got my generators fixed up, giving us a nice steady flow of electricity. Um, and that we've got some steady ores coming in as well. Whether or not we're going to carry on using this thing with the old uh, um, phantom faces on it. I do like it, um, but it does mess up the landscape quite a bit. Um, so what I'll probably do is maybe get another void miner set up. I might even look at the uh, excavator from Immersive Engineering. That looks pretty fun. You've got to go around and getting core samples and stuff. Um, but this is a nice passive way of steady sort of uh, steady sort of ore generation, uh, which I like. I mean, it's it's going to keep us going for uh, well indefinitely, really, as long as we can give it power, then it will, it will carry on going. So anyway, um, I'm Closet Gamer. If you enjoyed this episode, leave me a like, leave me a comment. It'd be really appreciated, and share it with your friends if you can. And I'll see you guys next time.